What's up YouTube? I'm back with another video on the channel and today we are doing which 2022 NFL rookies were drafted by the wrong teams. Let's get right into it. Sorry about the bad audio. The microphone is not working, but without further ado, let's get started. First we have Kenny Pickett and I think this is debatable. I think he is the best fit for the Steelers quarterback wise I think it would have been nice to go uh, Malik Willis here uh, going with the big with the someone who can actually rush the ball which is what they haven't had in the past almost two decades at this point so Malik Willis would have been good not saying Kenny Pickett can't run he's just not known to be a runner he's known for his accuracy his throw strength but I, I really feel like this uh, could have gone either way. Cole Strange, Chattanooga, totally agree. Definitely a, the biggest reach of the draft by far. Cole Strange was the going fourth round, in my opinion. Um, so I, I really do think this is a reach. I don't think the Patriots should have gone Cole Strange in the first round. Daxon Hill, definitely agree. I don't think I think they needed to focus on offensive line. I don't know if. The, he fits their scheme as well. Um, he played a diff, totally different scheme in Michigan as well. So it's going to be weird. We'll see. Hopefully he can live up to his expectations. But moving on with the Ty Quan Thornhill from the New York Patri or New England Patriots. Patriots, this draft totally reached um, in multiple occasions. But I think he is a good addition. I just don't know if he fits their scheme as well. Uh, Chad uh, Muma from the linebacker who plays on the Jacksonville Jaguars. He <sighs> interesting selection here. I mean, I'm I do see how he doesn't fit their scheme as well. I mean, they're obviously teams like I want to say the Ravens. He fits the Ravens scheme more than he does the Jag Jaguar scheme. I'm not saying he's like the – I mean, he fits their scheme more than a bunch of other teams. So he – toss-up with him. Uh, D'Angelo Malone, Edge Falcons. He went to Western Kentucky. I think definitely will help their edge uh, – their defense a lot. But, again, it's just the same – routine like he doesn't fit their scheme and like at this point I think he could potentially break out learn the playbook um but I, I feel like the Falcons kind of reach on him as well one Wendell Robinson wide receiver New York Giants he has good hands he can catch the ball in traffic Great football player. That being said, the Giants don't need a slot receiver. I mean, and the fact that they got him, I don't know when they got him. Was it like the third round? I think it was the third round, but he's 5'8". He doesn't have that great height that you want as in the NFL, but you never know with him. Wide receivers can be different. Like, you never know. Drum Ford, the Cleveland Browns. They selected him. He had a pretty decent 40-yard dash speed. He had a 4-4-6. Four, four, and he was a day two pick, which they already have Cream Hunt. They already have Johnson. They already have Nick Chubb. Why do you go running back? Like You have way more needs in running back. So, yeah, that's my, the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. You mean a lot to us. Thank you all for watching. Peace out, everyone.